Hey, what's going on? So I thought I'd try a little something today. So people keep bitching about game pads. You know how uh, one, there's not enough buttons or two, there's too many buttons. They keep hearing all this stuff about that. And I keep wondering, do you really need all this stuff? I was like, you know what? Why don't we try something interesting? You know, why don't we play a simulator? You know where I'm going with this. Why don't we try a simulator? And uh, I thought maybe we'd go for American Truck Simulator. Great game, by the way. I've, I've got a, I got a ton of hours in it. I make a ton of money in there. Why don't we play with the NES controller? Because you know what? Here's the thing. You only need eight buttons to do this. Uh, gas, brake, start the engine, uh, accept, and the D-pad for steering, as well as your light modes and your wiper modes. That's all you need. So, here's how we're going to set this up. Yeah, we're, we're playing the PC version, by the way. That's how I'm able to play with this. So, I'll show you how we got this set up. So, I got gas and brake as A and B. They're backwards, by the way. This is why it's, this is the USB controller. It's weird. Steering is left and right. Start and stop engine is the start button. Let's go down the list. Light modes are D-pad up. Wipers are D-pad down. And activate is the select button. This is back on here because it does Xbox controls. And this does pick that up. But this is D-input. But it works. It finds it. So that's how we're going to set this up. So it's gas, brake, start, stop, engine, select, and headlights, wipers, left and right for steering. That's all we're doing. We'll do a short run, by the way. We're not going to do too much. So we will go to... Let's find a freight. We're going to do something short. Let's try... Let's see if we can find a short run from Las Vegas. I don't want to go too far. Uh, let me see some Las Vegas, Oregon, California. I don't want to go that far. Las Vegas to Elko. Let me see. Las Vegas to Yuma. Might be able to do that. Can I get Las Vegas to Phoenix? Here we are. Las Vegas to Phoenix. Let's do that. So let's go. Let's quick travel there. All right, we're going to use no camera controls. And you know what? Let me turn on. Let me turn on traffic offenses. We're not going to turn on fatigue because it's, it's a short run. We're only going for maybe like 20 minutes. So let me go back here. Let's turn on traffic offenses. We don't need fatigue. It's a short run, so we don't need fatigue. As you can see, it's working. <laughs> Let's probably get some gas. Oh, shit! So the brakes are a little less responsive. We'll make it work. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, it's getting dark. Put our headlights on. Yeah, we're not doing the transmission on this. There's not enough buttons. We're doing it on simple automatic. You know what? It's in the game. Let me get some gas to him. A little low on gas. Okay, we gotta stop our engine, push start for that, and hold select. So far, it's drivable. 
you know, you gotta tap the D-pad because you, know, you can't hold it, but hey. against the grain. It's no big deal. Right, let's go pick up our load. Wipers work. Got that. There's no violation for no turn signals. This is why we're not gonna bother with those. You're looking at violations for speeding, crashing, and that's basically it. Red light violations. There's no headlight violations for some reason. They added that in the recent patch. I don't know why. Oh, so we don't have cruise control. So you gotta, you gotta manually judge your speed. Oh man. Just, just to prove a concept, by the way, just showing that, like, you don't need insane controls for sub games sometimes. I know for first person shooters you need them, because you need two different axes to, to look at the game at, but not really for this. On, go green. The reason I picked Las Vegas and Phoenix one, it's a short route. It's like, like it's like 20 minutes, not even that, in game time. Uh, also, I, I lived in both areas. Or slow down. There's a cop right there. I lived in Las Vegas for 29 years, and then uh, I lived in Arizona for four years. And I live in Chandler, but Chandler's not in the game. It's Phoenix. Chandler's right outside Phoenix, so. Just so we're clear, none of this is, is accurate. <laughs> this, is, this is not like Las Vegas. Las Vegas is way more complicated than this. It's not a very big city, but, you know, it's still a city. And this is like nothing. But then again, it's it's American Truck Simulator. It's basically a Cliff Notes version of what these towns look like. See, these are the real towns. Take a while to get to where you need to go. Fuck me. <laughs> you can't. Fuck me. <laughs> Shit. That's what I mean. <laughs> Some things don't make no sense. Keep in mind, this was. This is done by a European team, by the way. They made, um. Euro Truck Simulator, and they made this, just said the American version. I want to see a Japanese one. I want to see Tokyo, uh, Tokyo Truck Simulator. Or Asian Truck Simulator, if you want to call it that. I want to see that. Maybe one day we'll do that. Have a 
red light. That's Vegas in a nutshell. You will hit every red light. There's like one or two streets we hit all greens down the road if you get there at the right time, but... to grab let's reload let's go pick it up there's the only thing I need the keyboard for by the way but if you know game design like I do you know they could easily like just put in like an automatic mechanic they can easily do that thing up. Here we go. Make wide turns. It's a long trailer. I wish you used my own trailer, but someone else is using it in game, so... red light. Holy <laughs> fucking red light. It's almost like the game knows. Oh, you're going to play with an NES controller? Okay, we're going to make this even harder on you. Now, again, we got no cruise control. We're just, I'm only using the keyboard and the mouse for just basic functions. That's it. Everything else I'm using the controller for. <laughs> I would try Train Sim World 3, but I don't think it'll work with this controller at all. Like, they have a very set line of controls with that game. Well, it looks jittery, but it's working. I got a new 3D printer and it's trying to print one thing and it's not doing very well. <laughs> Up to chancel in a minute. Although the current app did say uh, it might not print properly, and yeah, I see why. My drivers make a lot of money. I've been playing for a while, and they're still leveling up.
Oh, now you speed up. Oh, thanks. Fine. We're good for point A to point B. Turn my headlights off if I want. I'm not going to do that. I mean, like, imagine, like, you know. Yeah, they just put some games out that were just simple. Plus, if you never play with NES controller, it's actually kind of comfortable. <laughs> it might be square, but hey, you know, they sell square pillows nowadays. Actually, rectangle, you know what I mean. Station away, the fucker. Here we go. All right, we're good. Not selling any illegal weapons or drugs and shit. Trust me, I ain't selling that. Never say that at a way station, by the way. <laughs> say anything like that, they'd be like, okay, pull over. Let's find out what you got. And if you're in a rush, then you know exactly where that's going to go. light again. Give me nothing but red lights. We're starting at red lights. I just got like a stream of green lights. Just <laughs> so the 3D printer just fucking up whatever I was trying to print. It's brand new. I bought it the other day. I'm still trying to figure out what works or doesn't work. Three and a dragon. I thought it was going to be a kick ass Japanese dragon, but no, it's a little kid dragon, so hey. I'll be sending it back to home to my uh, extended family. Red lights! After this, we should like be smooth sailing until Phoenix. Hopefully. We just have to go uh, one drive circle. And once we go through there, that's it. It's straight to Phoenix. I think 
to replace with an NES controller, man. You know, I mean, if I mean, the, we've seen games where they automate stuff. They could just do that with something like this. Because, I mean, part of the problem with casual gaming is that, like, they keep trying to put people in hardcore games. And I'm sitting there saying, well, I'll just give them casual games. Give them something that's fun. I mean, like, why make it complicated? But I'm not against casual gaming. I just don't want casual gamers to be in hardcore games where they get their asses kicked. And then they bitch you complain to developers and they gotta dumb it down. And it's like, there's a reason why you don't. There's a reason why there's a skill gap. You know, it's not about segregation in that case. It's about, you know, you gotta learn the hard way. You gotta learn to get good. Because if you play, you know, like a casual shooter online, for example, and they dumb everything down so anybody can win, when you go to an actual hardcore shooter in a tournament, guess what's going to happen? You're going to get your ass kicked. Plain and simple. You know, because then all the uh, all the assists go away. When all the assists go away, well, pff, you can't do it. Also, a further note. When did just enjoying a game go away? That's my question. It seems like everything has to be online. Everything has to be, like, competitive. Or you have to join some kind of, like, support group for a game nowadays, which I'm like, really? Just a little soft, but it's okay. I'm only carrying around like 75,000 pounds worth of stuff. It's all right. I was not going to go from New Mexico to Seattle. That's like two hours. I'm not doing that. I'll do it on my spare time, but I won't do it like in game time. down this route by the way this is the uh this is the 95 route it goes from uh well it's the 93 route that's actually much more accurate because the 95 route goes from uh goes from las vegas to flagstaff and then what you do is you get off of the 93 route before like shortly after kingston or kingman and you take that and that's a shortcut to phoenix it cuts your drive time from like 10 hours and knocks it down to like roughly six. That's total from Vegas to Phoenix, by the way. Because I think it's like, I think two hours from Kingman to uh, Wickenburg. Down this road. It's going to be like five minutes on this, but still. I'm looking at my 3D printer, it's looking worse and worse. <laughs> Every minute. Oh, God. 
So done with this, I'll shut it off. should be coming up soon. Making a good time. We're making a good time. Also, they added um, skidding in the game recently. You're drifting. You can actually drift your truck now. Unintentionally. Especially when it's raining. So it maybe turn the fucking rain off. Or knocked it down to default, at least with the 7% rain. I must have crashed two or three trucks doing that. I swear to God. Survive Wickenburg. Makes us not much farther. Come on. Front of it is shipping chemicals, not gas. Chemicals. Yes, the uh, the oval uh, tanks. Those are those are gas tanks. This guy's chemicals. What kind of chemicals? I don't fucking know. Could be the same shit that killed the T1000. I have no goddamn clue. All I know is I'm gonna outrun him and make it to my destination as quick as I can. a little bit, they'll slow down and stop and let you get in there. That's another reason why you don't want to bother with uh, turn signals. They don't work. They look nice, but they don't work. Alright, 57 miles to go. We're almost there. Oh, just with, just in any escort that we're doing this with. That's it. I only need the keyboard just so I can uh, 
load and unload the truck. That's where basically it. But again, if it's automated, you could do that with no problem. At this point, I almost want to kind of see like some of these developers like make demakes of games. You know, games that are just like, you know, like 16-bit or 32-bit. Just to show that they can do it. And for dirt cheap, too. Like, you know, like... Like a D-make of Truck Simulator. <clears throat> Doesn't matter which one. Just make one based on both. And just sell it for, like, maybe 10 bucks. That'll run on anything. So if you can't get, you know, the regular version, just get the, the D-make version. I'd buy it. Alright, we're getting there. We're getting there. <laughs> See another disaster on my 3D printer. I'll take a picture of it and post it on Twitter if I can. I don't know why it's not printing correctly. I think I forgot to put support material on it. Probably the reason why it's falling apart. Yeah, I can see. I can even see the nozzle just like trying to print, and nothing's coming off. Dominic, you couldn't find a fucking job. Come on, man. I'm gonna fire you and then they'll hire you. behind a cop car. Just right behind him. Highway patrol, too. Even worse. Just thanks a state trooper. Let's be happy. I only got one ticket so far. Just one. They put like those, those Tesla trucks in here. Hopefully, they get those in here. Technically, they're available. I don't know if you can buy them for consumers yet, but hopefully, they get a deal with Tesla and put them in there because they already got the other Tesla cars in here. They got them in here. Well, it'd be really funny when they put them in here and the acceleration is through the roof. So destination almost there. And save my print job. Do you mind the brake is delayed when I'm pushing the button, so I gotta push it a little bit, then stop, and then let's make the turn. Hope that hits us. speeding. It's okay, it's a, it's a small street. Matter of destination. 
fish. Probably back it in. Let me try it. I gotta do a full U turn in order to get it in there. Let's see. We got to straighten out this way. We're not going to make it. <laughs> yeah, screw it. We made it. <laughs> well, we did it. NES controller, we did it. Yeah, I think we're good on that. All right, so that was America Truck Simulator with an NES controller. So far, it worked. We made it from it, Las Vegas to Phoenix. Okay. The only thing I had to do was push T on the keyboard to lock, to lock the trailer up and the mouse just to navigate the menus. That's all I had to use. Everything else was on the controller. And again, they can set that up in game if you want to do that. There is an official uh, setup for this on Steam. I didn't use it. I used my own setup. I mean, it just proves you don't need like insane controllers for everything. Somebody just needs something simple and it'll still work. And this came out in 1986, 85. You know, that's like, what, almost like 40 years old now? So, well, anyway, thank you for joining me. Hope you have a great time, and hopefully I'll see you all next time. Take care.